everybody, uh, I'm Furia, uh, here with me I have a very special friend of mine, uh, from Facebook. Uh, uh his YouTube name is ZachAttack492, right? Yeah, I just said that. <laughs> <laughs> so we are going to be playing, uh, Pokemon Coliseum. Uh, start a new game. My character's name is gonna be. Let's call him Penis. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? <laughs> nah. Let's call him. Uh, let's call him Furia. <laughs> start. Okay, storyline. In a desolate canyon land, there was a weird looking building. You guys walking around. Explosion! Angry guy with weird beard and mustache thing. Machine! Die! Guy walk in. Guy grab machine. Guy smile. <laughs> Guards running. Guy running. Umbreon next to him. Door opens. Angry guy with weird mustache. <laughs> run! 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 Espeon in motorcycle. Guy and Umbreon jump in motorcycle. Take off. Get the hell out of Dodge. Guy pushes the button. Building blows up. And the guy runs off into the sunset with his two awesome Pokemon. And the guy with the mustache is very angry. <laughs> and that's how our story begins. Yeah. <laughs> well, here we are on my slightly broken TV. Um, this is Pokemon Coliseum. Um, look at here. Freaking hover truck with a bag in the back. Nice. These guys must be doing some really good grocery shopping. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god, these guys don't look nice. They have weird looking hair. That obviously can't be good. Hey, hey, hey yeah, we bagged ourselves a great big catch, too. Oh my god, they must be fishermen. <laughs> we'll also be sure to fix this up good with big rewards, too. Hey, it doesn't get any better than this. Probably doesn't. Have fun with your giant tuna now. <laughs> okay, so we're, uh... We're at a train in the desert with a gas pump. And we walk in. Oh yeah, news lady! Authorities have made a stunning announcement on the mysterious building that exploded in Elko Canyon. It was Team Snack of Sidehow. Team Snack is a gang of Pokemon abductors who have already been marked for a the hideout was discovered only as a result of the explosion, but the time to survive, the room building has already been abandoned. The cause of the explosion is only investigation and it should become apparent eventually. Wow. This is a nice tavern. I like it. Do I know about Team Sagam? Nah. Yo, wait up! Oh god, it's a guy with pink hair. <laughs> His name is Willie! So that's not his penis's name? A quick battle? I'm kinda scared 
to battle you! <laughs> you look extremely funky! Go dye your hair a different color, then maybe I'll say yes! <laughs> sure, I'll battle you. Yeah, that's the spirit! Alright, alright, over here this way. We're gonna battle right beside a building. So my Pokemon can blow it up. How nice. Vroom vroom, let's roll. And here we get to uh, the battle. First battle of the game. Willy likes the battle. Set down a six second and another six second. Go, Umbreon and Espeon. Uh, battle mechanics for this game, you simply click fight and select your move. I'll be getting into the other mechanics uh, in a little bit, but uh, that's pretty much all you need to know for right now. So I'm going to use fight on that girl zigzagoon, and I'm going to use confusion on the male zigzagoon. Oh yeah. Let's be honest, use confusion. Bam! Use bite. Rawr. Tackle. Oh god, it's running in a zigzag line, and it only did five damage. <laughs> oh god, it only did eight damage. <laughs> How nice. Okay, so I'm just going to use... Bike on you, and Confusion on you again. Confusion! Bam! Now, what do you think that is? And he was through the Pokemon at the building? <laughs> throw, throw the Pokemon through the window. Freaking zigzag goon lands on someone's dinner. <laughs> Wait, Aaron, there's a zigzag goon in my soup. <laughs> Use bite. Nom nom nom. Funny thing. Oh man. Anyway, uh, funny thing you can do is if you have one zigzag goon alive and you can hit it without killing it, it'll actually run between Willie's legs, which is kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> Why that? You still need seasoning? Ew! Yeah, you better give me money and let me get the hell out of here, you mother effer. <laughs> but yeah, you're tough, real tough. You did a real number on us. Ew! <laughs> <laughs> what a dirty old man! <laughs> yes, I hope I find trainers that are better than you. You're freaking filthy. Get away from me. Here's the map. This is where you select where you want to go. Let's go to Phoenix City. As we ride off into the sunset. Hey, look! It's those guys with their big fish. You <laughs> the fish? Yeah, you say that. But this won't stop squirming! Makes it tough to hold on to! Just be quiet for a little longer? Can fish talk? Maybe they caught a mermaid! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> some, some of them they are kidnappers! That tape didn't keep her yap shut. Yes, I think they kidnapped a mermaid! Hey, quit your shouting! Oh, Dread, did that punk hear all that? What? It's not like I'm going to steal your mermaid. Since you overheard us, we don't have any choice. Blame it on your own bad luck. What are you going to do? Throw out two zigzag at me like the other guy did? Oh, two whisper. That's, that, like, that's much better. Totally. Go on, Brianna and ask me on. <laughs> Thank you. 
I'm not sure if these guys ever had a chance to start with. Uh, fight and confusion. I'm the same one. Just to get one out of there. Because I really don't like Whismer. Oh well. Well, one died already with one hit. See, but he goes, it doesn't matter which one you attack because they'll both die in the end. Whismurf even flinched. That's so sad. Helping hand. Secret power! Damn. Okay, I gained 181 experience points. Hungry on grew level 27. SP, I gained 181 experience points. Yeah, you're tougher than you look. I also have a bigger penis than you. <laughs> I swear, Zach, you and me are the only ones I ever laugh at my own commentary. Oh, really? Yeah, we're all. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, you took out my whisper. You're no ordinary trainer, are you? Uh, your whisper, we're weaker than a punching bag. What? What's going on there? Yeah, somebody, they're robbers! They're robbers! You be quiet, we're no robbers, we're kidnappers, get it? Kidnappers! <laughs> <laughs> he actually just shouts it out that he's a kidnapper. How nice. <laughs> oh, yuck. Someone's inside there. Yeah, it's a mermaid they caught, right? Nah, let's just leave. Please, we need your help. What? Like, I know how to untie a knot? Jeez, I only learned how to tie my shoes in sixth grade. True story. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't want to help. Just let me go. Let me take the truck. I want to get out of here. Aww. We have to help. Sax Mouth is tied firmly shut and do the knot. No! Okay, fine. I won't do the knot. Freya tugged hard on the tightly knotted rope. The knot gradually loosened. Freya undid the knot, keeping the sax mouth closed. Oh my god, it's a freaking chick! Uh, even shadier person saved you from some shady people. The way he battled those goons, it was su truly superb. I wish you could have seen it. Oh, is that so? F thank you. Uh, you are. Oh, so you're named Furia. I am. Uh. 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 Let's call her bitch. <laughs> Nothing else to name her. <laughs> I could name her ass. <laughs> Actually, no, I'm going to call her slut. <laughs> nah, I'm gonna call her turd. I'm gonna call her turd. Nah. Let's call her soy phone. <laughs> nah. I don't want to do a bleach reference. Let's just call her. Let's 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> Eight zero zero eight five. If you use that on a calculator, it spells boobs. <laughs> I'm gonna call her. I'm gonna call her. Hmm, what should I call her? Pick a name! I have no idea. Say the first female name that comes to mind. Jenny, why not? Jenny, okay! Jessica it is. <laughs> Her name's Jessica. Uh, she's glad she met me. She was hiding in the neighboring town when those two grabbed me. Those guys, they use a peculiar Pokemon. A peculiar Pokemon? No, they looked ordinary to me. Yeah, they were a bunch of crappy ass Whismur. Uh, no, you're five minutes, I'll be up. Okay, let's go to the mayor. No, I don't want to escort you. I hate you. Go away. Those men might come back. What are you scared of? Did they have a dildo? No, I don't want to stick with you. I'm fine. I guess I have to. Thank you for the lift. I thought you might say that. If you're with me for the end, it won't matter if those guys come back again. Thank you, thanks for joining me for a while. You're joining me, bitch, it's not the other way around. <laughs> now, how long till I can jack this truck? Because this truck looks cool. Aww. There's a random cast form walking around here. Let's go to the mayor's office. Oh god! A guy in purple tights! Is that a girl? I'm not sure what that is, if it's a girl or a guy. Has the appearance of a girl, but it has man boobs. What the hell are you? It's a purple, it's a purple suit wearing transvestite hooker. Grandma, did you see that bitch? So that was a man? How'd you know that was a man? I don't even want to know anymore, that's creepy. <laughs> Fat so fat so the mayor's really fat. He's fatty, fatty, fat, fat, fat. His name is S. Cade. Um, er. Oh, what may I do for a pretty young lady like you? I I saw it. Saw it, and what did you see? I saw a guy pull down his pants! <laughs> <laughs> I saw a peculiar Pokemon. Uh, no, that's not quite right. I saw it was a Pokemon that gave off a black aura and it was like a fighting machine. And that Pokemon would attack people! Sounds like awesomeness! Sounds a lot like me. I'm a little large vessel that wants to hurt people. Oh, 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 oh my! Pokemon like a fighting machine and it attacks people? Now, if that were true, that would truly be frightening. However, it's a little hard to believe. It's true! It's true, Mr. Mayor! Because I saw that Pokemon was made prisoner of some frightening men until just a little while ago! Hmm, I see, I understand. I'll order an investigation at once. You all thank you, Mr. Mayor! 
no, no, no. We, there's no need for thanks. We must have a lot of thugs to do as they wish, especially if thugs that endanger a pretty young lady like you. The mayor must be a pedophile! Boss, that you give me a little time on this matter. I promise we'll get some useful information for you. Oh, yes. You appear to be a Pokemon trainer yourself. If so, I urge you to visit our city's Pride and Joy, our Pokemon Stadium. It's breathtakingly beautiful stadium, befitting an oasis city. Let's walk around the mayor and go up this house. Uh huh. Oh my god, there's a rub on the bed. Ow! Ow, there's a skinny lady in here. Ah! Run! Run! The mayor's a pervert! So where are we supposed to go? Oh, yeah, we're supposed to go to the stadium. Oh, but first, here's the, I think it's the training battle facility. Pre-gym. Pre-cum gym. Okay. Come over here, we'll see dumbass just sitting at a table. Tips on Pokemon battles. <laughs> Strategy memo. Always come here to get that. That's pretty damn helpful if you're new to Pokemon. PDA. Alert town. That's my favorite. Okay, strategy mode. You get to learn their abilities, hear their cry, see what types they are, and height and weight. Uh, but no one needs to know that. Oh, and their ability. Pretty damn helpful. Snag list. That will be later. We'll get to the snag list later. And right now, we're just gonna walk through the door here and get out of the pre cum gym. I mean, pre gym. Uh, and we're gonna go around here to find a secret item. You got the super potion! <laughs> Wish there was a jump button. You bet I'd be jumping in the water and going for a swim. Oh god, I got it with a zigzag in. Aw, oh, so cute. I wanna step on it! Oh, why can't I step on it? Pyrite Town, we gotta visit there someday if it's full of thugs and stuff. That'd be fun. Yeah. Little kid on freaking rollerblades over here. Oh, that's battle! Hell yeah, that's battle. Can't possibly be weaker than those other. Oh god, it's a kid on roller skates. That's even horrible. Or pulling a silk coat. Oh god, this battle's just gonna be even worse than against the two Whismer. Oh god. Oh god, this is gonna be so pathetically easy. No one beyond an espion. For a while, Espeon and Umbreon are going to be your two main Pokemon, so get used to them. Yeah. Uh, attack Wurmple and you attack... Uh, yeah. Actually, no. Yeah, you can both attack Wurmple, because Wurmple's going to die. And then you'll both be attacking Sokun eventually. Does he have anything else? Hopefully not. No, he doesn't. Thank Lord. Nom nom nom. It's hardening. It's getting hard. What's so funny? I'm just saying it's getting hard. Okay, now I'm just going to use secret power and finish it off. You can do whatever. You reflect. Why not? I will be keeping Reflect on my Espeon, by the way, for quite a while. Because it's 
It's going to be really helpful in upcoming battles. Ha! Bam! And Umbreon and Espeon gain a little bit of experience. Thank the Lord. I want to try and get them up to level freaking. Let's try to get them up to about level 30 before the first really big boss battle. So, oh, I have to team a uh, TM. What uh, TM is that? Torman. Prevent Sandy from using the same room that move twice in a row. That could be helpful for later on. But uh, we're gonna we're gonna end the, this part right here, people. Don't worry, I'll be filming uh, in about... I'm going to take a small break, go to the bathroom, meet dinner, and then I'm going to be back filming some more. Yep, I will be back too. Save multiple times because this memory card of mine tends to screw up and I end up having to reload the last save. Yep. So, I'm, so I save it about four times each. Just in case, because you never know when something's going to screw up. Yeah. So, this is where we're going to be ending it for now. People, I'm going to be feeling my Pokemon. And... Uh, I'll be seeing you again pretty shortly. See you then, everybody.